All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This one, the video we're filming right now, is not going to be on the water. This is a video for the new guys, the beginners, and even the older generation guys who don't have as much, uh, um, for the older guys that don't know as computers as well, I'm going to walk you through a step-by-step -step how to update your uh, fish finder. You're going to have to do it from time to time. Um, you know, the updates come out and they fix things, they fix bugs and they fix, uh, and they just improve the overall experience. New interfaces, uh, things that they've had problems with, they'll fix them. So let's go through this step by step. Um, I'm gonna be ep uh, updating an Echo Map Ultra uh, ne uh, 93 SV UHD unit. Um, this is the unit a type of unit that a lot of people have. Uh, this was the most economical way to get into LiveScope. Uh, great units. So let's get right into it. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Let's get right in this video and let's learn how to update. I mean, right down to, we're going to do our card. Uh, we're going to format it. We're going to download it. We're going to do all that kind of stuff. Let's go. All right. We have our card here. I'm going to stick it into the computer and I'm going to talk you through some of the stuff you can't see. Uh, when the card goes in, um, all right, insert your card into your unit. Um, here's the way it's going to go. You have to format your card. We're going to not, we're going to act like there's nothing on this card. So you click on your card, uh, and I will go right there. Click on your card. You can see my error right there. It's in the G, uh, cause that's what my, uh, card drive is. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on that car, and it brings up this information right here. You have to right-click it and go to where it says Format. Now, Format is simply uh, erasing the car and setting it up the way, we're doing, the way it needs to be done to download the information. I'm going to click on Format. It has to be done in this file system, which is called FAT32. Um, there, uh, let me try to get that off. There you go. FAT32, okay? And very simple, you just push start. Let me see if I can try to change the angle just a little bit, get those off there, okay? And it's gonna give you a little uh, screen right here that says FAT32 is erasing all the information. You wanna do that, very simple. Push okay, it's gonna go through it and erase. It doesn't take very long, usual, but there you go, we're done. Now, now we gotta go to the internet. I've already pulled this up just for time space. Type in Garmin Fish Finder Updates, and I misspelled it up there. I don't know what I was thinking. But Garmin Fish Finder Updates, Garmin Marine Device Updates, it, it, it really doesn't matter. It'll all come up, and it says right here, Marine Device Software Updates for Garmin. You just click on that. And then uh, it's going to bring you to this screen right here. And it says, see what's new. You can view features included in past updates, things like that. Um. It, it, it's got a, uh, a, this is the main page, but it gives you everything you need. Go down to where it says download updates manually. Now, we're not looking for the GPS map series. Um, we're, we're looking for the Echo map series right here. And it says, see all devices in this bundle. But you can see it listed right there, 4X, 5X, 6X, 7X, 9X. What that means is like 93, 94, uh, 90. I don't know all the series, 106, 126, and, and 123. All those are is the one, the one, two is the screen size, and the X signifies uh, the mapping series that's on the unit. But we're going to download for PC right there. We're going to click download for PC. It's going to bring you into, uh, it talks about it, but it gives you an agreement, a, a software license agreement. You have to scroll down and it, Get right there and it says I agree to the above terms try to make sure it's right there I agree to the above terms you're gonna click on that you have to click that or otherwise it won't let you download now it's going to bring up the updates and downloads page it's gonna give you a little bit of information but if you're using a Mac you'll go to this page but since we're using a PC we're going to click download right here. Now, all it's going to do now is it's going to download, and it brings it up right down here. Now, this is not downloading to your card. 
um, this is going to download to the computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get off of here. We're going to stop it. When it gets through, we'll go to the next step. But it right now is downloading to the computer. Um, the file is going to be too big to put onto a card straight. You have to unzip it. We will go through that process next. But let's, let's wait a second, let this download, and then we'll come back on. All right, I want to let you know what happened here. Um, when the computer downloaded it, it came into the maps. Uh, it came into the download section of my computer as Echo Map with SD card. It's dated 323, which is today. Well, it automatically started extracting the file because it is a zipped file. But we'll pick it up from right here. We'll go through the process. It's very quick. Um, it's going to extract the file from this right here. And when it downloads, it comes into a zipped type folder. You have to extract it. Um, it's just too big to put on your card like that. I know it's only 1.2, ki uh, 1.1 kilobytes, but I, I don't know all the details of that. But we're extracting it. And when it gets to extracting it, it's going to go through a setup wizard that will install it on your card properly. And we'll do that right here. It's, it's, it's very quick. It doesn't take very long at all. All right, here's the setup wizard. Now, you just it's very simple. You just click next. It walks you through it. You accept the license and agreement again. Click next. It's going to tell you to pick uh, where your memory card is. And as we talked about earlier, mine's in G. It's right there. Um, we have already formatted it as we did at the very beginning. Click next. And there you go. It's going to go through this. So I'm going to, I'm going to turn this off because this, it doesn't take very long, but um, we don't have to sit here and watch it go through this whole section. Okay. All right. Now we've got to the part where it's done. It's done all the little downloading to the card. You just click finish. It is done. So the next step is we have to take this card out to the unit and install it. Let's go. All right. Simply walk outside, turn your unit on, take your GPS, your software card. Now I want to bring this up. You do not have to leave this card in there. Um, uh, I actually took the active map, uh, active captain card out first. And this is software card is on a different version. And all you do is sit, put it in the unit, click it in, and it's going to automatically recognize it. And there it goes. It says manage user data, copy built-in map. If you were installing a new active uh, captain memory card, you would do that. But we're not. We're going software update. And it says it takes a long time. And let me explain this to you. Do not turn it off. Do not wiggle cables. Do not do anything. You want to be very still while this is happening. You do not want it to lose power in the middle of this. Disclaimer, do not lose power in the middle of this. It could break the unit and that would be bad. Click yes. I didn't that, get that. Could you? And that was Siri talking. All right, now it's gonna scan for updates on that card. Um, once, once it finds them, it's gonna go, you see right here, Echo Map UHD 93, US Lakes, the three stands for the Lake Series, which is the United States Lakes. SV is side view. Version 19.2 is what it's updating to. Version 17.1 is what's already on the screen. I mean, already in the unit. Uh, it's pretty easy. It's pretty, but I do not suggest using the active captain to update this. And uh, I'm sorry, my screen's dirty, but I apologize. And there you go. It's going to go through this. It's going to say software loading. <clears throat> And it's going to go through. So I'm going to leave it on the whole time. I think this is important to see all the little steps that it goes through. Because some people go, it turns off, it turns on, it beeps. And then that can be a little bit scary, especially if you've never uploaded it. All righty. You'll see it reboot the system here. Uh, you know, it can be a little scary, a little bit. But, you know, a long time ago when we had fish finders, whatever you got from the factory is, is just what you got. And... Uh, there it goes. See it reboot, kick the system off. <clears throat> that right there is kind of freaky looking, uh, kind of scary.
And uh, so you just got to sit here and kind of wait it out. <clears throat> I am going to kick it off because it's just sitting there for a minute. All right. It was off for about, I would say about three minutes. So it comes up with this screen right here and it says it's okay. Select okay to restart the device. I'm going to click okay. Now it's going to go through this again. Um, it restarts and starts so many times that it can be very, very scary. Uh, especially if your unit's new and you've never done this before. Man, it'll freak you out. <clears throat> As you can hear, it's very windy outside. Now it's going to go through the whole process again of, of booting up. It's going to load the maps. Uh, it did show the new version being 19.2. There it is right there. U.S. Lake uh, in version 2020 and version 22 on the maps. You push agree. Nothing to it. And... Uh, you got to go through some setups here again. Um, you got to accept a few things and it is done. It is updated. So how about that? So there you go, guys. We updated it right here in the garage. Never even opened the door to the outside. So it is ready to go, ready to rock. Um, got the new software on there. Um, it's ready to go. I mean, it's got... Uh, this is the actual unit. I very rarely even take the cover off this thing. This is the actual unit we're giving away in the night and the 10,000 subscriber giveaway. I never take the cover off the thing. I very rarely use the unit. Um, I'll, it's on the front now, as you can see. I will probably sell the GPS map 1022 and I'm probably gonna up, upgrade to a GPS map 12, 1242. Probably gonna upgrade to a 1242 and go to one single unit up front. I have the 943 XSV um, uh, Etherneted to the front, uh, to the GPS map unit in the front. Um, I will probably just upgrade and go to one single unit. The way I fish, I don't use maps a lot. Um, it just not doesn't fit my style. And uh, there we go. But guys, I hope that helps you update. It is so hard to um, tell anybody to go update because there's a few little few little weird little tendencies that the computers do and the updates do that you should see that way you don't get uh freaked out when you first see them so guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing let's go and you know ring the bell oh and information on the hats i'm gonna have 15 hats i bought 15 of course gotta keep me one so i got 14 for sale um when they're gone they're gone this time uh, if these 14 or 15 sell, and they are for charity, 100% of the profits going to St. Jude's. Uh, if they sell good, I'm going to order 50 in 10 different colors. Uh, five in 10 different colors would be 50 total. And we're going to sell them on the uh, YouTube page. And uh, we'll sell them for $20 straight up, $25 if ship. We'll combine shipping if you want a couple hats. And... Uh, not going to make a killing off those just to kind of get the GG name out there, guys. Hey, I'd love to see you rocking into some pictures and stuff like that. Guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'm going to say it again. Ring the bell.